Hello everyone, this is Akli Chang. Today I'm going to show you how to connect Arduino with Autodesk Forge by using 3Duino in 10 minutes. 3Duino is an HTML based Arduino plugin developed by my colleague Navid Rahman. It has already been listed on the Arduino official website. Let's first download this plugin. Let's shift to the download button, hit the download button, hit the download button again. Next step, let's download the Arduino software. Hit the button of just the download. Then save it. Some useful simple codes can be found at GitHub. Those codes have already been out in the previous course. We just simply hit the download button to download the zip file. At this stage, we've got all the files required. Then extract them all. After that, we install the Arduino by a single click. Hit the Agree, hit Next, hit Install. Then hit the close to complete the installation. Now we need to include Sviduino library in Arduino direction. So we hit the Arduino icon to run it. Shift to the sketch menu, include library, hit the add zip library to browse to the file location. At this stage, we can see the examples the Sweetino exists and we can open the first one that is the scripts the sample scripts from Sweetino the function is to control a light Then we find the Sweden 2.0 folder and find the execution file and hit it to run it. Hit the button on software and it will automatically lead to a web page. Just fill in your details, phone name, email address organization and country then obtain the license key the license key is here copy it paste on it and register then then we run it again we can find now the user interface of Sweetino appears. Mm, 
now the Arduino has been connected with the Arduino's plugin and next step we need to connect the Arduino plugin to our HTML file remember in the previous course we just learned how to get token and uh, object ID from Autodex Forge Cloud Server and at this stage we just copy and paste on the sample code. If you no, do not familiar with this process then you can go back to my previous video and to see how to get a token and how to get object ID. Then we save it and open it with Google Chrome and we can see the web based 3D visualization platform and then we edit the HTML file again. We need add two lines of codes to connect it to the 3D node. As we just learned, we have already connected the 3D node plugin with the Arduino. So once we connect HTML file to 3D node plugin, which means the HTML file have already get access to control the Arduino. So the 3D node is like a bridge between Arduino and HTML file. And then we just copy and paste those lines and save it. Run it in Google Chrome again. And let's see. There is two button we just created on and off. And now we need to send the codes to the Arduino. It's like the the right can part and then Okay, now we have already uh, sent the Arduino codes, sample codes to the Arduino hardware. And remember, we have already installed Arduino on our desktop, which means can bridge the Arduino with the HTML file. Uh, now we need one more step to switch it on so that it can uh, the data can walk through it the signal can walk through the 3d node to the html file and can go back now let's check that it has already been connected well it works we can either turn on or turn off it by click on the button of the sample home page from 3D node. Then let's copy and paste our codes over HTML codes to the default location of the 3D node examples. Paste on it. Then we click the example again. And we've got our 3D based web page. And at the bottom of it, 
there is two button. We can control it, turn on or turn off. Alright, thanks for listening.